This video shows you how to integrate with messaging applications in real time in cloud application integration. In cloud application integration, connectors help you integrate with web services and data sources that are outside Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Use connectors to read messages from and write messages to messaging applications like Advanced Message Queuing Protocol, Amazon Simple Notification Service, Amazon Simple Queue Service, Java Message Service, Apache Kafka, RabbitMQ, and Salesforce for platform events. Let's get started. Log in to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services and go to Application Integration. You can see your connections on the Explore page. Let's look at this connection to an Apache Kafka streaming platform. On this tab, we can see the source where the connection reads new messages. An event source is a message consumer. It serves as a start event that listens for new messages. In this example, the connection listens to a specific Kafka topic to read messages. On this tab, we can see the target where the connection writes messages. An event target is a message producer that writes messages to a target. Here, the target is a Kafka topic. To finish creating a new connection, you validate and then publish it. Now we can configure a process to integrate with Kafka in real time. You create a process on the Explore page. To integrate with messaging applications, use the event binding type. Here we'll select the event source that we configured when we created the connection. The process will automatically start when a message arrives on this Kafka topic. Next, cloud application integration automatically creates an input field that defines the payload for the process. For Kafka connections, the input field is called event. Let's check out some other process steps that you can configure. You can assign the Kafka message to the target topic. You can use a service step to integrate with the Kafka connection in real time. We'll use the connection service type. And then select our Kafka connection. The Kafka producer action populates the input and output fields. So now we'll just validate and publish the process. In our example, the process is triggered every time a message arrives on the Kafka topic that we named as the event source. Then. The process performs the other steps we configured, writing the message to the Kafka topic that we configured as the event target. Now let's check out the process details. On the Processes page, we'll select the runtime environment that we used for the Kafka process. Then we'll find the instance ID for our process, click the ID, and now we can see the details about the process run. And that's it! In this video, we showed you how to configure a Kafka connection with source and target events and create and run a process to integrate with the Kafka application in real time. For more information, click the documentation links in the description, visit our communities and support hubs, or check out our website.